Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing videos on this Flat Cat Gears uh, ISO Clean 2.0 isopropyl alcohol stove. Pretty cool little stove that uses isopropyl alcohol. Uh, at the same time, John over at Flat Cat Gear gifted me a couple of these um, st these Lynx stoves. These are ones that just use regular al alcohol, the denatured or methanol. Looks very similar, except the isopropyl has a bunch of holes on the outside of the uh, tank or whatever you want to call it, the pot stand, whereas this doesn't. But this one does have a wick on the inside of carbon felt held in place by a little metal band. I don't know if you can see it there. He gifted me two of these, one for me to show and another one for me to have a giveaway sometime. So I thought I'd show this one. had a lot of people asking me to show this one. Thought that's what I'd do today. Uh, a couple of things with this. I've said before that the Flat Cat Gear really put out great instructions. This is the instructions that came with it. I just put it in a plastic page to protect it. Today I'll be busting. He has a bunch of warning and safety rules here. Today I'm going to break the very first one. Um, they say only use stove outside in an area clear of flammable materials. Do not use the stove in enclosed spaces, tent or cabin. Use stove under adult supervision. So I'm going to be breaking all of those there today. I'm going to be doing it inside and I'm not going to have any adult supervision so uh, just remember, I do this so that you don't have to. I think this is a <clears throat> excuse me. I think this is a very safe stove. Haven't used it yet, but I know the the principles behind it. That he has to give those warnings because there are morons out there that could you know hurt themselves with a the stick. But anyway, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to use his suggestion of a little over a half of an ounce, 18 milliliters of alcohol should get two cups of water to a boil in about eight minutes. I don't know what temperature he started with but we'll see today. So let me go get my water prepped. I have the alcohol already prepped and waiting to go and I'll be back for a test. Okay so here I've got 18 milliliters of methanol which is what I use. It's about the same as denatured. Same kind of results. Now this, when I put this in here, it all soaked up in the wick. There's nothing left in the bottom of the stove, so it's all what's on the wick. Hmm. This ought to be close. Okay, so I have two cups of water sitting at 60. Let me just light this. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, that's going. That's a good thing about wick stoves. You don't have to wait for a bloom. There's two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 102 degrees. As you can see, it's a really nice flame pattern here, all blue, spread out to the bottom of the pot. I don't know if you can see in this, but in the one leg here, there is a feed hole where that uh, John uses a external remote feed kind of an interesting little thing but uh, so far so good there we have 210 211 come on 212 in 8 minutes 6 seconds cool the flames are still going but the uh, carbon felt is starting to glow along the edges I don't, I don't know if you can see it there See a little bit of glowing. That means it's just about running out usually. Uh, carbon felt when it starts to dry, if it doesn't have the alcohol in it, see the glowing? Glows more and more. That's one of the good things about carbon felt versus, say, insulation, I always think. Insulation about this time will start to fuse. Okay, let's just see how long. Still going a little bit. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 47, uh, humidity 48, partly cloudy and windy out, and two cup, the two cups of water came to a boil in 8 minutes 6 seconds. 
and it's just about ready to run out. This is pretty amazing on 18 milliliters. Now the temperature is dropping. That's what that's signifying. There's still flame, but not enough to keep it hot. Now, it, as far as, see, the temperature's dropping there, so. And see, we still have a little bit. Now, you, there's two thoughts here. You can either blow it out, and the carbon felt will be wet to put away, or just let it run out, and then you'll have dry carbon felt and a dry stove to put away. The uh, legs here, the pot stand, are glowing. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... There we go. Just put that out. Pretty cool. 18 milliliters. And that's on a big pot. The Boy Scout pot. The wide one. I don't think you'd want to put something really narrow on this. Unless the flames would go up the sides. But Pretty cool. Well, not cool. Pretty hot stove. So... That's the first test on the stove. I don't know if I need to do another one, but that was two cups of water again. Hate to repeat myself. Two cups of water starting at 60, came to a boil in eight minutes and six seconds, but I didn't notice when it ran out. I'll have to look back on the tape. Okay, so I thank John over at Flat Cat Gear for gifting me this to play with. This is, Again, this is the Lynx stove. This is a... Uh, Denatured alcohol stove versus the isopropyl stove, the iso clean, which was this one. I thank John for sending me these. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.